me know in the comments like what, what there's a lot of work that needs to be done in there a few I would say yourself that Holy Ghost will sustain you tune into the live streams keep talking like this I know God has me doing this no I know he do I want to start this video by saying uh, my apologies um, the focus of the church is to one we are supposed to be out among the people we're supposed to be you know approachable you know God sent he's sending us out to save those who are lost um, the church man we're supposed to learn and we're supposed to go out among the lost, which are our brothers, man, brothers and sisters. They're just lost. And we have to have a love for them. So I'm, I want to apologize to the lost world. You know, I was lost, man. And I know how it is to be out in the world. And I can relate. You know, I used to have fun partying. And, you know, in the nightclubs and, you know, drinking and, um, you know, I smoked a long time ago, partying, dancing, all of those things. Um, you know, and we can't we can't act like those things weren't fun. You know, people enjoy. I enjoy dancing. I enjoy having a good time like that, being out late at night. Uh, but I just want to tell you guys that I can relate, man. God is still working on me. I'm very approachable. You know, I'm not afraid to be around certain things. You know, I don't exclude myself like that from people because I'm of the faith. Um, you know, people act normal when they come around me, but it, I'm like, man, y'all, you know, be yourself. You know, I just want to be, you know, me. And hopefully by me being me, being a representative of God's kingdom, you know, that leads you and shows you, you know, there's something different about me. You know, it's some things that I, I got to go out and start to do, man. I, I really want to get out here and talk to people more try to get to know people more you know and introduce them to the kingdom of God anybody that you go to you know with an argument first it's going to be hard to reach those people so we must be able to adapt uh, but not take on their uh, the things that people do we can adapt without smoking without drinking you know we can we can relate to the world that's why God, he brings us out to teach us his ways to send us back in to show people. And um, I just want to say, you know, I understand. I also just, I want to inform the world through the eyes of the kingdom uh, to know the deception that's going on. The things that an enemy that's trying to kill you is doing to you and you're not aware of it. You know, I look at people and we see. We see the things that people talk about, you know, the unrest, the unemployment and all of these things that's going on in the world. You know, the strife between parents and kids. We know about all these things, you know, the rap battles. And if y'all look at verses and, you know, you've seen these rap rap verses and R&B verses and stuff like that. I'm into this stuff too. I'm adapting to the stuff so I can relate to you guys. And I'm talking to my, my brothers and sisters that that's not of the faith right now. I become you in order to adapt, in order to see what you're going through. Um, and it can be tough. But the thing is, with somebody, with ambassadors of the kingdom, 
we have to come to you and tell you what's going on and the answers or solutions to what can help you in this world. And that solution is Christ. That solution is his ways. That solution is his mind on how to handle certain things such as stress and um, handle loss, you know, the loss of loved ones. Man, he is something in the Bible for every situation that we'll go through. Reason being is that God knows us. He's known, known us from when we were in our mom's womb, when we were babe, when we were not even thought of, he knew us. The Bible says he, he's, he's known us before the foundation of the world. That means before the world was even made, he knew us. You know, there are scriptures in the Bible that talks about him knowing the how many hairs are on our head. You know, he knows the number of them. You know, God knows everything about us. He knows everything we go through. Um, and he just wants a relationship with you. And it's so beneficial. The relationship is so beneficial. I can exp I can say that because I've been in it for a while and I know everybody goes through. I go through things. I know you go through things. You know, I'm sure you got y'all can name some stuff in the comments, man. And, you know, to my brothers and sisters, that's not of the faith. I, I, I ask that you try, you know, just try Jesus. You know, and if you have, you you may have done it in a way that you didn't know how to. And I'm here, man, I'm just here to, to tell you how to properly do it. And if you have any questions on on God or the Bible or anything, just ask, you know, and I'm not here to debate anybody. I'm not here to argue. I'm here to befriend, man, and to show people the kingdom through how I live, you know, and just just how I live, man. That's the main thing, the actions. And I want to show you without being fake, you know. A lot of times people, they get burned at churches. You know, people are um, excommunicated from churches. People that are looking for something. People that are looking for salvation. You know, they may come in and may not be dressed a certain way or speak a certain way. That doesn't mean excommunicate somebody. And that's that's why I believe I, I don't adopt the church. I would say physical, that church mentality where I have to go every week and stuff like that, because I've been to a lot of churches and sometimes it can be so politically correct or spiritually correct. I don't know the term, you know, that you can run people off before God even gets a chance to start to change their hearts and minds. So we have to be really smart man about how we approach people we don't know what people are going through man we people are going through a lot right now you know with kids and stress and you know these single parent homes and you know even people that are um of the lgbtq community i have sympathy for uh for those people and uh for everybody that's not in line with, with where Christ kind of wants you to be. But I'm not I'm not to the point where I'm going to judge you and, you know, I'll shoot. I'll hug you. I love you just like the Lord loves you. You know, love is going to come from me, not hatred, you know, and that's the whole thing, man. We got to show people love. You know, we have to show people love. We have to show them Christ through us. And then after they see that love, they'll start to wonder, where does that come from? And when they start to incline on, wow, this person, something is really different about this person. They're going to they're gonna want to know God more. They're going to know want to know why he, he wants us to live a certain way and 
you know, begin to change, may, may even begin to change. That's when they would have to come to a conclusion of whether or not they want to incorporate what God wants them to do. But we have to give them the opportunity to come to God. And we do that by loving people, by showing love, by helping people. And um, I'm trying to remember every day, man, in my prayer that the Lord sends me to help somebody or that I help somebody daily. And not for my own personal gain, but for the gain, you know, of the church, for the gain of him and his glory. So, you know, I, I want to talk about these verses uh, rap battles and stuff like that. This stuff that's going on with the young community, with the rap community, you know, it's from old to new. And we see the hate in the world today. We hear the songs that what, what the kids are listening to. We hear what you guys listen to. And the thing is, at the end of all of that is death, you know, anger, death. You know, and certain sins that may feel good, but the end of sin, man, is death. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death. And you guys know, you, you, you know that you've seen people die. You've seen people get shot. You've seen people uh, go to jail for, you know, stealing or robbery or I've seen it. And I know you have. And. I'm just trying to open your minds to know what God wants you to know. He wants you to know that we are a different kingdom. We are not of this world. He wants us to be with him. He wants us to live forever. You know, he wants us to be a family. You know, God knows how much we want to take care of our family and do things the right way. But sometimes, you know, our environment messes that up. You know, we can't get jobs. You know, there isn't any resources. You know, we're brought up in places where our education is is deprivated and the teachers and everything don't even really care about people. The parents, you know, haven't been taught. It's a generational thing. Generations on generations. You know, and it's a greed thing. People are greedy. People don't want to share. And we have to get get in the mind of, man, we got to share. We got to love each other and just help each other as much as we can. You know, I ask God to, and you guys help me, you know, pray for me to be able to approach people in a way uh, that God would want me to approach them and live in a way that God, they can see God through me. You know, <clears throat> I was contemplating on my last job. You know, and I got let go from the job, but I, I was thinking about the people. God may have had me there for a certain reason. By the time I left the job or they let me go, man, people knew me as somebody who, you know, was was in the faith. You know, they didn't really like cussing around me and all this type of stuff, even though I never pressured anybody. Or anything like that to be or to think the way I think or anything. I just gave my opinions when they asked, you know, and my opinions were kingdom opinions. And the people still love me. They still call me today. I ain't try to change them, but I know the seed was planted. Like, man, that, that was a different guy. You know, Hosea was kind of cool, you know, and they'll start to think back. He, you know, to, to what I used to say. You know, what I used to talk about. So, you know, we have to, we have to be an example to the world. And God loves the world. He loves you guys. He sent his son to die for the world. It says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. So he loves the world. You know. And we have to do the same. If he loved you, we have to love you. We can't just sit in a box at the church and just stay there and encourage each other and all this, but not ever go out into the world, which God loves. 
There's a reason why we come together. We come together to get strength to go back out into the world and show people who we are in faith. So to the lost man, if, if anybody listens to this, to this video and you're wondering who God is, who Jesus Christ is, comment, you know, let me know if you need help understanding something or if you just need prayer or if you just confused about anything, you know, comment in the comment box below and uh, shoot, I, I'll even call you. We can talk if you're in need of something and I can help you. Um, comment in the in the box below, man, in the in the comment. So, you know, we should all be here to help each other in any way we can. So, that's my message right now. And about to go back in the house, and if if God lays something else on my heart, you know, I'll speak on it. But I love you guys. Peace.